Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to remove items from a dictionary. In the previous tutorial um, we learned how to add items and the tutorial before that we learned how to um, create dictionaries. So like we said before dictionaries hold data and uh, that is a key part of programs. So if we can create and add data to a dictionary we should be able to remove it that makes it mutable so we're we are able to delete data now there's four different ways to do this so we're going to take a look at each one I'm going to use our previously uh, uh, previous dictionary that we've been using so let me uh, go ahead and get that data in there and you go ahead and pause the video if you want to copy that data and follow along um, so we got Turtle is a key, and Speedy is a value, Dog is a key, Maggie is a value, Cat as a key, and Steve as a value in our dictionary. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at the first method of removing data from a dictionary. First one is using del, which is, stands for delete. And then we call our dictionary a, then square brackets, and then our key. So let's say we want to remove cat. All right and then square brackets and we do del a so we're calling our dictionary here because a is representing our dictionary and then we call the key cat and we want to remove Steve so hit return and if we call a now we get um, our dictionary returned to us and it only contains two piece, two items here and we got uh, turtle and speedy and dog and Maggie so cat no longer exists it's been removed so that's one way to remove it. We can do it again just to practice. We do del a square brackets and this time we'll remove turtle. And call a and now we have only one item remaining in our dictionary and it's dog and her name's Maggie. All right. So that's one method of removing uh, data from a dictionary. So let's go ahead and copy our dictionary once again so we don't have to type it out. We'll come down here and paste it. This way we have some items in our dictionary to work with. Now, um, our next one that we can use is a method called pop item. And pop item will remove an, uh, the first item in a dictionary. All right, And it will return it to us. So let's take a look at that. So if I go a dot pop, pop item and then parentheses hit return it's going to return to us uh, the, the value and or I mean the key and the value and it takes the first one off the dictionary every time it's going to take the first one off the dictionary and let's uh, run one more here just for practice sake we'll do uh, a dot pop item and it's going to remove the next one dog and Maggie alright so it takes it off the front end here now Pop item is great if you're kind of like iterating through a dictionary to remove items, but other than that, um, it's not very accurate or effective, or I should just say accurate. I guess it is effective, but it's not accurate. We sometimes, like I said before, dictionaries reorder themselves. That's why they have keys. So pop item might not be the best option. Now let's go ahead and paste in our dictionary again. And let's take a look at another um, method of removing items, and that's called pop. Now, pop item took from the front end of the dictionary. Now, pop gives us the option to um, take it, take it via the key, grab, remove an item via the key, and return the value of that item. So we can do a dot pop, pop, and we can use a key. We'll say dog. It return and it returns to me the value of Maggie so now it doesn't return the key like pop item does because we're putting the key right here so it doesn't have to return that but it returns the value to us so we can do it one more time a pop uh, with a cat and it returns to us Steve all right great that's pretty simple and straightforward so now we can grab um, the item via the key and return the value of that item and <clears throat> that's pretty straightforward uh, and the last one is what happens if we want to clear the whole uh, dictionary instead of going through and doing like say um, 
a dot pop item and remo removing turtle speed and speedy now we got two left we can do a dot clear and parentheses and call a and now we got an empty dictionary so we can clear our whole dictionary that way so you know um, say you're storing data in the dictionary as a user is using your program when you go to close out the program you want to remove that data from the dictionary so it's ready to um, collect more data when the program fires back up well you could use something like a dot clear or use clear here the clear method and go ahead and remove that data at the end of uh, the session so that is um, removing data in, from dictionaries in Python if you have any questions Please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontour.com. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one.